so hello guys today we are going to discuss this problem merge k sorted lists so the problem is something like this that we are given uh, k linked lists which are sorted and we have to return a sorted list out of a sorted bigger linked list created from these linked lists so there can be two approaches so first approach would be that we read all the contents from the linked lists then uh, we sort the content and finally we create a one single link list out of it so for example let me just show you here so uh, okay let's suppose we have this link list and <clears throat> we uh, like uh, traverse in this vector we read all the link lists into a vector uh, into a single vector so let's suppose we have uh, we can say m is the number or maybe n is the number of linked lists and m is the size of max linked list size of max linked list so what will be uh, the time complexity it will be o m n like reading all uh, first step would be read all uh, linked list uh, into vector so it's time vector of int its time complexity would be o m n then we'll sort so the time complexity would be log of mn because the size will be mn and then finally create a uh, linked list so its time complexity would be o mn again so since mn is bigger than log mn so overall time complexity would be o mn right and the space complexity for this would be taking a vector uh, so it will be o mn again uh, because the vector size would be mn so uh, let me let us just see uh, how this works so we have to iterate through all the linked lists uh, so i have taken uh, a for loop in which head will be the single linked list and while head while there is something in head just push back in the vector and traverse to the next head and so it will uh, like this vector will contain uh, something like this so we will be we will be something like this but it will be unsorted then uh, we have sorted this one so it will become sorted and finally we will create uh, a linked list out of the v so i have what i have taken is i have taken a head which is uh, the vector zero and if it is size like if v has some size if v doesn't have a size then i just like we just return a head and post that we are traversing from v1 and we are making temp point to next and temp equal to next and then finally the head only points to the uh, the initial uh, list node zero so we return it from here so this overall time complexity for this algorithm would be omn and the space complexity is omn again so we can have another recursive approach in which we can again the time complexity would be omn again so what we can do is we can take two linked lists at a time merge these two linked lists and then um, delete the delete delete the second linked list or delete the two linked lists and then go ahead so for example let me just uh, go through the approach of this algorithm so initially we will take these two linked lists we will make head uh, like we will merge these two linked lists and make head point to the sorted linked list so head will be something like this one one uh, then it will be three four and five one one three four four two fours are there and then five <clears throat> now uh, i can remove uh, these two elements and then finally i can merge this head with uh, two six so we already know that for uh, merging two linked lists this is a recursive function which is already there on a lit code uh, like there is one problem of merging two sorted linked lists so this is a recursive function so if you go through this it's very easy to understand that if the linked list one uh, value is smaller than linked list two so for example let's suppose we are taking these two linked lists uh, so in that case what we'll do is we will move 
to the next of link so in this case link list one is smaller than link list two value so we'll move to four and uh, we will move to four and two and similarly uh, in, the, in in next iteration if link list one is greater than link list two though say, then we will move to link list uh, something like this so it will be here and it will move to here and while returning we are just marking next uh, of the link list in which we have uh, like just traversed. so if we are traversing to next of the link list one so we will be returning in the next of link list one so that's how the original pointers are getting changed so what we have done here is uh, the if link list size is zero so just return null and while the link list size is greater than one so I have, what I have taken is I have merged head and link list zero and then I have erased first uh, link list so in this case let's suppose there is one more three four uh, something like three four five so in this case head will be uh, like equal to the merge of head and link list zero so it so initially head is null so at the first iteration head will be one four and five then the link list zero is erased then uh, merge of head and link list zero so in this case link this 2 and 6 is erased and it will be like merged 2 and 6 and finally uh, if link if there is anything so this uh, while loop goes till there is size greater than 1 but in this case size is 1 so if there is something left then again merge head with the link list 0 and finally return head so overall complexity of this algorithm is again OMN because at any time uh, let's suppose we have M as max length of any link list so in this uh, merge method we are iterating m plus m so we are iterating uh, that is o of 2m and then finally uh, like we have a link list of 2m and then we again we have a link list of m so it will be something as 3m and so on and finally we have uh, like o m n so three link list will be o of 3 uh, m four link list would be o of four m and then n link list would be o of uh, n m and the space complexity would again be uh, like two m because at a time we are merging two link lists so only the uh, the recursive stack uh, for uh, like the recursive stack for the size for the size of equal to the max of uh, the max sizes of the two link lists are created and then the, the recursive stack is destroyed and again we create a recursive stack so though so this is uh, uh, like the two solutions and both solutions are actually accepted so where are my submissions yeah so this is uh, the first and second both solutions which I have discussed are accepted and, and this is how uh, this question can be solved thanks a lot